It's Mo Murphy from Loudon Times Mirror and LoudonTimes.com. We're here at FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. We're here for Alumni Day. The Redskins playing the San Diego Chargers. Uh, a lot of a Redskins alumni here. Uh, great day, beautiful weather. We're going to talk to some of the guys. Also, we have Super Bowl 22 being honored at halftime, and we're going to try to get some of those guys as well. This is Mo Murphy from LoudonTimes.com and Loudon Times Mirror. I'm here with an alumni, Tony McGee, the sack attack. The <laughs> man played here in the 80s. Tony, uh, you're out here all the time with the NFL now, but uh, how's it feel to see some of your old buddies? Oh, it feels good. And I look at these guys, and you know, each and every one has a story that I kind of remember a play that they made or some reason that we were great teammates. And you can still see the camaraderie here, even at this point in time between the old and the young and that's what's really nice about it and by my working for the NFL I get a chance to see the new players now compare them with the older players and I tell you what these older guys are something special and do you have any certain Redskin memory that stands out special to you or? it's always one where we won the, uh, the, the champion the NFC championship and we knew we were going to the Super Bowl and uh, I'll never forget on the sideline that was the first time I ever was closer that I was in about my 13th year and I had a chance to get a chance to do that and I always remember that memory when we knew we had beat Dallas right. that's a and good the stands one to have. were rocking that's a good one to have <laughs> well it's good seeing you Tony good seeing uh, you. have a good alumni day and this is Tony McGee yeah. and Mo Murphy from Loudon Times at FedEx Field this is Mo Murphy from the Loudon Times Mirror and LoudonTimes.com. We're here with one of the greatest of all time, Mr. Larry Brown. Larry, uh, how's it feel to be out here again for another alumni day? You know, this is um, this is a type of uh, event that you never get enough of, and I'm enjoying it uh, very much. Uh, also, one of the Super Bowl teams will be uh, honored today. Uh, you have an honor of playing in the first Redskins Super Bowl, even though we came, I say we, I'm a lifelong fan. Uh, we came out short, but I uh, was talking to a few guys earlier, and, and they talk about that Dallas game, that championship game prior to the Super Bowl. Was, uh, some of them say it's some of the greatest times they had in their life. I think that was by far one of the greatest games we played that, that, that season. And uh, I could also say if we'd have played the Miami Dolphins a week later we would have probably beaten them too because we were really um, riding it high at that particular time. Well it's a great legacy, great part of the team. It's great to see you out here Larry. What are you doing with yourself now? Now I'm with a commercial real estate company, a full service commercial real estate firm in Prince George's County. Okay well, good seeing you Larry. It's an honor speaking with you. This is Larry Brown with Mo Murphy of the Loudon Times Mirror at FedEx Field. This is Mo Murphy with the Loudon Times Mirror and LoudonTimes.com. We're here with Super Bowl champion Doug Williams back at Alumni Day. Doug, you're looking good. Uh, how things been going? I tell you what, this is a great feeling to be back and see so many of the guys that you play with and some of the guys that have played here before us and after us. You know, this this weekend, this Alumni Weekend homecoming, man, is, is a great thing for all of us. And of course, you guys are being honored, especially uh, halftime ceremony that's got to feel good as well 25 years you know it's hard to believe it's been that long but it's been that long and the good part about it you know we still standing we're here to, to, to celebrate and I think that's the most important thing and uh, Doug what what all you been doing now that you're out of football I mean out of pro football I well guess. you know I've been coaching uh, up until a few weeks ago and I just been enjoying my son play uh, down at Gremlin I got an opportunity to just watch him play and just be dad and uh, get a chance to take the girls to school in the morning and, and just enjoy life a little bit. Yeah, well, it's a great pleasure talking to you, Thank Doug. You. Have a good day today and uh, enjoy your halftime uh, celebration. It. This it. is Mo Murphy from Loudon Times with Doug Williams at FedEx Field. at Alumni Day. <laughs> Chief, uh, beautiful weather out here today. And, uh-oh, uh, uh, 
I thought we was gonna get struck by lightning there for a minute. That Chargers is in town. They got that lightning boat. We don't care nothing about the boat. We got the win today. We're gonna do the thing we should have did last time and uh, we was up there. But I want to say one thing. I want to say prayers go out to the coach of the Denver Broncos and his family because he's having some medical problems. But then hopefully be all right. Go skin. Tell us a little bit about your shirt there too. I know that's a fun. Yeah, it's the 35th anniversary and they did a shirt for me, man. I I never thought the people thought of me that long and I didn't know I would be here that long. But they got the shirt on www.todayschamps.com and that's where the shirt come from. The money goes to breast cancer, diabetes also. God bless you and go skin. Yeah, you heard that from the chief and we'll have that website up when we show this interview. This is Mo Murphy from the Loudon Times Mayor with Zima, the Chief Z Williams at FedEx Field on Alumni Day. God bless you. You got man. some old alumni friends out here That's too. A, all of my old friends. Yeah. That's all God right, Chief. You. Well, you have a good day. from the Loudon Times Mirror and LoudonTimes.com. We're at FedEx Field after the Redskins defeat the San Diego Chargers 30 to 24 in a thrilling overtime victory. Also, it was Alumni Day homecoming. Several of the old greats of the Redskins were on hand for special uh, celebrations. We'll have coverage of that as well. Let's head on into the locker room now for some comments. This is Mo Murphy from the Loudon Times Mirror reporting from FedEx Field. What's this do for you guys? Uh, adds another win to the uh, to the bank. You know, at the end of the day, you know, we're in the business of getting wins and uh, you know, adding them up at the end to see where it takes. Does this make a short week maybe a little more palatable? Uh, it makes us it makes us a little more uh, joyous for a couple hours, and then we get back to uh, you know, getting ready for the uh, Vikings. Guard line, uh, and they got about three downs to get it in. And it's going through your mind. Hey, they still got to come through us. They still got to come through us to score, and uh, you know that's the mentality we had and you know, we went out there and, uh, and showed them that you know it wasn't going to be it wasn't going to be given it wasn't going to be easy you're going to have to come to us and uh, you know put a stand that they weren't able to uh, you know score so what does the win do on a short week like this for you guys like does that momentum carry through to thursday and man uh, wins losses all that matters is, is adding to the tally man at the end of the day you count them up and at the end you know see how how many you got you guys seem to have a, a real good balance today between the uh passing game and the running game. Right, right, right. Seems to be a pretty good uh, balance. What's your thoughts on things today? Um, I think we, like you said, we had a great balance. Um, Coach Shanahan called a great, great game and <clears throat> balanced it out great for us and, and worked out for us. And how did it feel knowing that you, you're out there looking good in front of some of the greatest Redskins of all time with this alumni day? How did it feel special? Oh uh, yeah, it felt good, man. I know just you're to be able to, new, but yeah, just to be able to make some plays for us and, and get this win uh, felt great. Jordan, they went to you real early. You were making a lot of plays and had gotten quiet with the defense playing you differently. And how did you stay patient uh, during that time? Um, I think it was um, guys just had uh, um, better matchups otherwise than me. You know, so Pierre was did his thing, and uh, the wideouts had great matchups on the outside. So they they uh, utilized that part of our offense. And um, I mean, I just knew. Uh, I was just going to do my job and just um, keep working hard for us and everything worked out. You got that pass late, you know, another clutch grab. What was going through your head on that one? Just uh, go, just work hard and um, just just do my job, man. That's all. It was all, all 
all, all cylinders in the overtime. I mean, it's huge, man. Huge momentum for us in the future. Huge momentum going into Thursday night against the Vikings. And uh, we can we can, we can can feed off this, watch the correction, make the corrections that we need to make. But, I mean, like I said, this is huge for us moving forward. At the risk of, of talking about last year, and it, 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 it's last year, but... Yeah, it's last year, <laughs> man. It's a whole new team. This, this today, though, when the defense is motiv motivated by what the offense is doing, mm -hmm. I mean, do, do you guys sense that when you're getting on the field? Yeah, we all feed different? off each other, man. This is a team where we got to play... Uh, all, all three phases have to stick together and play for one another. And uh, we was able to do that towards the end. And it, like I said, it was huge for our, our defense fans and our offense to go out there and, and score and finish the game, close the game out. And uh, it gives us momentum for the future, man. And I'm excited. Is this one of those wins that can really propel you guys? We'll see. You know, we're going to continue to work hard, continue to strive. We, we're still just, we're still three and five. We know what our record is, but we got to take it game by game. But uh, like I said, this was huge momentum for us moving forward. Especially with a short week, how much does this help gain the W? Today? Oh, absolutely. We needed this. This was a must win for sure.